All right, guys, it's Alan here again. Now we're gonna be showing you how to spread a bed joint, which the process is the same. If you've seen the head joint video, you get the mortar on your trowel, shake it back, leave the tip clean. This time, whenever you spread, you're gonna put it on straight instead of keeping your trowel at an angle. You want your trowel as vertical as possible. So whenever it, your mortar's not angled back, so it doesn't give you a bunch of holes in your head joint. So you're gonna start at the end of the block. You're gonna buddy your, spread your bed joint. Now see, see how straight that stands up, see how full it is. A good mason, depending on the mason, may be able to spread two block at a time, sometimes two and a half. Depends on trial size and competency of your mason. So we'll see that one more time. Leave the tip back, leave it clean so you don't smear your block. And there's your bed joint. Now some places, depending on where you're working, your protrusion is gonna be an issue. So that means whenever you lay your other block on top of this block, the mortar is going to squeeze out so whenever it squeezes out inside of the block web especially in the reinforced cells where you're going to have rebar coming up you can't have any more than 5 8 mortar protrusion so you want to spread just enough to get your 3 8 bed joint that's it you got any questions comment below